The Windows Hardware Error Architecture, or WEA for short, is an infrastructure comprising various mechanisms employed by the OS to report hardware errors and recover non-fatal ones. In order of decreasing probability, these errors are caused by unstable overclocks, buggy drivers, actual hardware failures and, seldom, by monitoring software. For example, suppose a VRAM frequency is set a tad too high. This may not lead to a blue screen error, but just to a WEA one. Should we still conclude that the stability of the system is compromised? In my opinion, absolutely yes. So, how to access that infrastructure? Right click on Start, Event Viewer, Applications and Services Logs, Microsoft, Windows, Kernel WEA. As you can see, I have zero error entries and over 9000 operational entries with event ID 5 and 42. These latter aren't errors indeed, but only information on the initialization of WEA and its 10 sources at each startup. Next, you should expand the Windows Logs. Click on System and filter current log by WEA Logger. However, a faster way to access all WEA Logs exists. Click on Create Custom View, tick each event level, select these two event sources, Kernel WEA and WEA Logger. Ok, finally choose a name. Now, if when WEA issues occur, they will pop up here with an event level labeled as a warning or error, and will specifically signal what's wrong with your system. An even quicker method is to open hardware info and check its last sensor, but beware that it will only report WEA errors that happen while it's running. Before closing, I'd like to mention PCIe Advanced Error Reporting, an optional WEA mechanism that's more robust than the standard one, and so especially useful for troubleshooting PCIe-related problems. If present, the relevant option to be activated can be found in the BIOS. On my Gigabyte B550 Vision D, it's located here. Settings, AMD CBS, and bio common options enable AR cap. Many thanks for watching and farewell for now.